Hey everybody, Hidden Object Guru here with another Valhalla Scavenger Hunt Guide. Uh, this one for Clue 2. On the Fury Roll, you should avoid yellow flowing stuff from start to finish. Obviously, this is level 1 to 5, Fury Rolled. Uh, simple enough challenge this time, don't collect any glowing stars. So that means lots and lots and lots of cutting corners. Here, it's actually much easier because you just jump down onto that pad. Because remember, you can take one full bar of damage... Oh, look at me go cutting those corners. Uh, here's the tough part. Again, you have to jump across, but so sprint towards it, but then immediately stop sprinting so you don't roll off the other side. Cut down behind the big ball, and you're set. All right, this one's a little more complicated. There's some speed pads on going on down below. What you want to do is hit the speed pad, right? And as you zip through the speed pad, keep going right, but turn off your sprint button. That way you'll go straight across the speed pad in the other direction, and you can safely roll through the rest of the level unmolested. Uh, next comes the hardest and most annoying part. You have to go through the lasers only when they're being blocked by the balls. Then you have to get behind the balls to avoid the sparks. It sucks. There's nothing good about it, and it's way too easy to get too close to the laser. I died the most on this area. So if it takes you a bunch of tries, that's 100% okay. It happened to me literally like 20 times, 30 times. Well, right there, 40x. And I can say most of them were on this level. All right, then, boom. Now this is the, you want to get all the way just to the edge of the death pad on the right, and then just slide right along the blue line. See? Or else you were going to collect that spark. This is the easiest section. You just, literally, well, second easiest. The end is actually the easiest section, weirdly. Uh, yeah, here, it's just about going up at an angle past this spark here. Watch. See, I jumped right across the hole. Then I just dodged him here. Then I jumped right across the hole again, and boom, you're set. Uh, and this one is actually just stupidly easy after the rest of them. As you can see, go north. Head south. Zip across. When it's off, obviously. Uh... And there, as you can see, you just jump, jump this hole the same way, and you're going to have more than enough time to let the balls roll around. Remember, you can take a little bit of damage you have to. It's not a problem. You're going to bolt across this one as well. Apparently, I paused there. I'm not entirely sure why, but uh, the point is, it got me to the end, and the second you get to the end, the teleporter appears. And, uh, you know, you're set. All right, uh, so that was the guide to clue number two. If you're having trouble getting this one, I hope this helped. And if you need help with any others, I will see you elsewhere on the playlist.